I'm glad that you're getting to spend more time in God's Word. And to do that together with the people of your small group. When you think of the kind of people that you want to spend your time with, there's certain thoughts that probably go through your mind as you think of who you'd actually want to be around. And have you ever thought, you know, what kind of people you would expect the perfect Son of God to choose to spend His time with? Would he pick the people around him based on their jobs? Would he choose to associate with people based on shared interests? Would he pick his friends based on what they wear? <laughs> if you've never read the actual story of Jesus, the answer might come as quite a surprise. Because one of the types of people that Jesus chose to spend his time with was somebody that hardly anyone else would have picked the group of people called tax collectors. You see, tax collectors had a reputation for really being like the traitors of their society. They were the ones who betrayed the resources of their own Jewish people into the hands of a foreign government occupying their sacred territory. These tax collectors were known for being greedy that they would help themselves to dishonest wealth. They would overcharge the people to make sure that they could skim a little off the top, but then still hand over what their superiors expected to receive from them. John the Baptist, a leader in, among God's people, had tax collectors that came up to him to be baptized. And he, they said to him, Teacher, what shall we do? His reply to them was, he said, collect no more than you're authorized to do. And so we see that the collecting of taxes wasn't inherently sinful, it's still culturally scandalizing, but the sinfulness of these people was found actually in their greed. There was one particular tax collector that Jesus chose to spend his time with. His name was Levi. He also went by the name of Matthew. Maybe you've heard the book of the Bible that bears his name. He was a gospel writer, a disciple of Jesus, and he wrote his biographical account of Jesus specifically for a Jewish audience. He shared the gospel with the very people who had been against him, who had antagonized him from the very outset. You see, tax collectors, they didn't have a reputation for honesty, but in his account of who Jesus is and what he had come to do and where Matthew fit into that story, he included some details in that account that were far less than favorable about himself. His vulnerability, his exposed weakness, well, it didn't point to his own strength, but it pointed to the strength of Jesus. In 1 Timothy chapter 1, we can read the words of the Apostle Paul, where he talks about the mission of Jesus. And he says that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the foremost. I think that's a sentiment that each of us could honestly share too. Dear friends in Christ, what a blessing it is that Jesus has chosen to include you and me among the company he keeps.